Hello and welcome to a review of the Longin Conquest GMT automatic watch. In this review we're going to be looking at the official specs on the Longin website to see what they have to say about the watch, then we're going to be going through a quick recording of the unboxing of the watch, then we're going to be going through loads of different shots and pictures of the watch in different lighting on and off the wrist, and I'll just be going through and telling you what I think of the watch and all the features I like or don't like about the watch. So let's have a look at the official specs on the Longin website. So we start off, we've got a stainless steel bracelet of course, we've got this really nice kind of the outer links are nice polished metal and the inner links are nice brushed metal. So uh, the outer links do tend to be a bit more scratch prone, uh, whereas the inner links don't because they're nice and brushed. Uh, so that's something to think about, but I think it's a really lovely bracelet. Then we have some scratch resistant sapphire crystal anti-reflective glass that covers the dial, uh, which is something you'd expect from a watch of this price range. We have a screw down case back, which is just solid. We have no transparent glass window that you can see through to the movement. Just got a no nonsense, nice screw down back, uh, which I think is really nice. We have a dimension of 41 millimeters across the watch, so it's a really nice diameter. You know, it's not too big, it's not too small. It fits nicely on the bigger wrist or even smaller wrist. I think it's a perfect size for this watch. It is water resistant up to five bar, so it's not uh, it's, it's not kind of diver watch level, obviously. But if you want to go swimming, take a shower in it, you know, you're absolutely fine. The movement inside the watch is the Caliber L704.2 self-winding mechanism movement, beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour and providing 48 hours of power reserve. Okay, and what I really like about this movement is it's actually fits the case of the watch, okay? So a lot of the times you'll see movements on watches with the date window just kind of stuck somewhere in the middle of the watch, uh, whereas this one is actually pushed right to the edge and is flush with the outer bezel of the watch, which I think is really nice. The hands on the face of the watch are silver polished hands with super luminova, okay? So that's your loom, your glow in the dark bit, which we will touch on later. So out of the box in your hands and on your wrist, the watch is fairly heavy, you know, it's pretty standard for a stainless steel watch, um, but it's not too heavy on your wrist, you know, you can know it's there, but it's not weighing you down too much. Um, the actual thickness of the watch is quite thick when you put it on your wrist, you'll see that it comes up quite high on your wrist, so that's something worth thinking about whether you like that or you don't like it. On the right hand side, we have a fairly big crown guard with two big shoulders coming around to protect that crown. I think it's a really nice crown guard, actually, I really like it. Some people may not like how chunky but it is, but I think it makes the watch look unique. When I was doing research on this watch before purchasing it, I was really leaning towards the blue dial on it. I thought it looked gorgeous, and even in the pictures and videos, and even they said it didn't do it justice. Um, so when I saw it and tried it on for the first time, I realized how beautiful the blue dial is. So I'm gonna show you lots of shots of that in different angles and different lighting in this video, so you can see how just how lovely it is. Another feature I like about the watch is the way the clasp opens, okay? Uh, Longine claim it to be a triple safety, uh, double opening mechanism. So you just push these two buttons in on the side and then these two parts just pop out uh, on either side. And it's a really neat opening mechanism and you can just pop them close again very easily on your wrist. I think it's really nice. I've attempted to take some loom shots of this watch just so you can see what the loom's like in the dark. Uh, it's quite a nice loom. The pictures haven't come out great because it's just on an iPhone, but you, you'll get the, uh, you get the idea. It's a nice loom. It does the job. It's nice and bright and it looks pretty cool. Overall, I don't really have a bad thing to say about this watch. I think it looks cool, I think it fits well, I think the bracelet is really nice, I love the double opening clasp uh, to open the buckle, I really like the back of it as well, that screw down back and I just think it's, it's brilliant, the beautiful glossy uh, blue dial, it's very rich, uh, you'll be able to see that, it's very deep rich blue, it's gorgeous, the loom's good in it, it keeps perfect time, uh, it's good for kind of, it's a good dress watch, it's a good sports watch, it's really good for most occasions, so um, I'd recommend this to anyone looking at buying a Longines watch.